Shut up. I'm stressed. I told my parents to be here at 9.30 to help me move my stuff. It is 10.56. Y'all, my apartment right now looks rough. Another big back moment. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let me tell you, I'm stressed. Stressed so bad my brain is moving a mile a minute and I have 30 million things that I need to do it's 8 o'clock and my parents will be here tomorrow morning and I have not packed anything to move back to Tuscaloosa and in my last video I was like oh I can just really knock everything out on Friday like it only take me a couple hours well after I got off of work I had to go get my car serviced where I spent $300 on a new tire because between here and work I keep getting nails in my tires I don't know what it is because I had a nail in my tire that I got fixed two weeks ago but they just patched it it was fine and then I have another nail in my tire it's just in a different place so something about it something about my job or my apartment I keep getting nails in my tires I don't know what it is so that took two or three hours I believe and then I came home which was pouring rain so it took me extra time to get home just got out the shower and now I have to pack everything and I had to call my mom to kind of confirm what all I need to pack and then also think about where I'm gonna stay when because my lease is up here on the 31st my last day of the internship is the second but I'm gonna have to move everything out before the 31st because we have our end of semester social then and I want to go to it and I don't want to be moving out and then going to the social just doing a whole bunch of stuff the plan is is Tuesday when I get off of work which is the 30th I'm going to move everything out of my apartment that evening when I get off of work literally move everything dang near turn in the keys and then the next day or like I'll have everything moved out I'll drive it back to Tuscaloosa I'll stay the night in Tuscaloosa and then wake up that morning go to work this that and the third once I get off of work come back to my apartment drop everything off really do like a last final walk through and then be done and that would literally be the end of my lease here and then that night and the next night I will hopefully stay with my uncle my mom has to call and make sure that it's okay but pretty sure it's gonna be okay I'm gonna stay with him for two nights and then I'll be done and then I'll be going back to Huntsville for a couple days I don't even know how long we'd be in Huntsville to be honest with you because Crimson Tide hospitality stuff hasn't been a hundred percent finalized yet like I know the days that I have to service and like game days in the fall, but I don't know the rest of my summer schedule. I know that I have orientation on Monday and that's about as much as I know. So I don't know what the before school schedule is looking like. If there's going to be one, I did tell him about my vacation time and he was like, okay, well, can you come in earlier that week? And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But we haven't really discussed that and like what the schedule is going to look like between end of training and when the season starts. I don't know. I like I said, everything is still moving. We'll hopefully get some questions answered on Monday. But in the meantime, I have other things that I need to focus on. I still am working, obviously. And I'm doing, like, I have my end of semester review next Friday. And then the following week, I have my end of semester presentation that I have to give. And then obviously wrapping everything up. And it's just, it's a lot going on mentally here in these last two weeks that I just did not prepare myself for. But... We're gonna start by packing, probably gonna throw on some Frank Ocean because y'all know me and him go together real bad. Literally, <sighs> that man does not make bad music. I'm closing my blinds because it's getting a bit darker. I'm hoping I can still knock this out pretty quickly. I told my parents to be here at 9.30 in the morning, but knowing my dad, that won't happen. And I also have to like just pack a normal bag because I'm staying in Tuscaloosa tomorrow night and Sunday night. So I need to have a bag packed for then as if I'm just like, visiting home almost so i gotta pack that stuff before i can pack that i gotta pack everything else it's gonna be fun probably a long night i'll check back in when we've made decent progress or when i can wrap my mind around everything
parents are not gonna leave Huntsville in enough time to get here at 9 30. I know that they're not. I looked at the ring camera. It's 8 54. They just left the house and I live an hour and a half away. You know what? Okay. Hi I had a mobile order for Jade. Mobile what was the name of Jade? Yes. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. to be here at 9.30 to help me move my stuff. It is 10.56. Y'all, my apartment right now looks rough. Like, I have all my clothes and stuff. My dad had on the game, I don't know why. I gotta unpack this, stuff on my bed. Also stuff in the living room, like all my cups, so. This is gonna be a minute, it is 2.41. Hopefully I'll be done by four, maybe before then. I do need to run to the ATM to get money out of my dad's account. I might do a little shopping, but I do for sure need to go through my clothes because I have a lot of clothes that I feel like I can get rid of and Play-Dohs isn't busy right now. So I feel like they'll be able to get me in and get me out pretty quickly. Also before like the rush of everybody moving back, wanting to sell clothes. So we'll see. I have lots to do, lots to go through. But I'm about to turn on something good because this basketball game is not going to keep me entertained. It is now many, many hours later, as in 7-12, and I'm finally done with my room. I also just went ahead and updated my calendar for August. I know it's a little premature because we are still in mid-July, but kind of want to go ahead and get it over with, see what we're working with in the future. This is what my room looks like now that it's all done. That stuff has to go in the garbage, so we're just going to disregard that. But this is my bed. TV, I brought the mirror back with me, my bedding and stuff. Brought this back with me, brought that back. I'm trying to set up my printer. Something about the connectivity with it is always weird. I don't know. I went ahead and put this back. Even though I only use this during the school year, I wanted to go and have it. And then I have my laptop set up, all that other stuff, picture of me and my mom. And then I put my makeup and stuff back here. And then my calendar. I'm probably gonna go get Fusaklis. We did have dinner or we had lunch earlier as y'all saw but i want to go ahead and get dinner so that i can go ahead and come back shower and get in the bed which i have nowhere to be tomorrow because tomorrow's sunday i'm not really doing anything just vibes i'll probably like go and do some back to school shopping but there aren't that many stores in tuscaloosa that i would be willing to pay a certain price point for i don't shop at boutiques here because in my opinion they overcharge 
and there's only like a TJ Maxx. I went there today, very pick through, and that's literally it. Who knows, but we're gonna go pick up dinner now while it's still light outside. And I apologize because I woke up this morning, got ready for the day, went out, ran my errands, and just now decided to pick up the camera because I forgot it at my apartment. But I went to like TJ Maxx, Ross, Aerie, uh, Ulta, and I didn't really get that much. The only place where I got stuff was TJ Maxx and it wasn't even closed. I'll show y'all. I got the MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer, which tomorrow will be the perfect opportunity to try it out when I'm working. And then I got the Kat Von D Gel Contour in the shade Deep Cool 10. We'll have to give this a try because I've never contoured before. I've always bronzed. Even with like contour ones, it's always been like a bronzer e -ish shade. So we'll test that out in the morning or actually that'll be a separate video because I'm gonna film a get ready with me one-stop shop all things college that you need to know and I might throw in like a room tour because I feel like a lot of people would like that knowing information about college and also what my apartment looked like what I bought and it might give people some inspiration on like the small things that they need but they might have forgot about that'll be helpful I also yesterday when I went to Target I got a poppy and cherry limeade it's actually not that bad like you can definitely tell that it's missing sugar like the the caffeine effect to it but i think it's pretty good i got cherry limeade and then i think i have cherry soda in the fridge but i'm actually impressed like i would get this again 10 out of 10. i got jersey mike's i'm only gonna try to eat half which now that i think about it i probably should have got a bigger sandwich because we have to bring lunch to the stadium tomorrow and i'm gonna take hopefully the other half of this and have that then but i don't have to eat too much because when i'm done working i'll for sure go ahead and get dinner before heading back to birmingham that's the vibes for right now it's 11:45, and at some point i'm gonna take my math test hopefully i'll take my math test before i leave to go get dinner because i have no groceries here i literally have water and sodas and that's it i'm gonna try and take my math test before i go get dinner around 6 37 ish i don't know yet depending on the time the mall closes because i really want american deli like I'm craving American Deli and I only get it when I'm in Tuscaloosa and there is one in Birmingham and there's one in Huntsville But I only get it at this one. I have no idea why I also have to pack tonight because Once I get off of work tomorrow, I'm going to just head straight back to Birmingham I'm not stopping at my apartment. So I gotta make sure everything is packed and ready to go another big back moment I have Cajun corn which I've never had before and then I got three piece Classic lemon pepper and then three piece honey barbecue. So you know I'm gonna throw down and then after this we're probably gonna get in the shower and call it a night. <laughs> 